Hello, welcome to another video. We'll be taking what normally you would call a definite integral, but this is not a definite integral. It is called an improper integral. It is improper because you cannot plug in the two boundaries that are provided. Usually, if this was a finite number, you would take your integral and plug in the values. But now you have infinity somewhere. So, and when you have infinity somewhere, because infinity is unbounded, and we, this is supposed to be bounded, so the boundary is unbounded. Come on, that's, that's improper. In order to deal with improper integrals, we have to resort to limits. So we have to rewrite this expression so that what we're saying makes sense. So this is what we're gonna say. We're gonna say that this actually is the limit. As you pick a letter, I'm gonna pick the letter t goes to infinity of this integral from one to t of two over x to the e dx. We have rewritten this improper expression, improper integral in a proper manner because t is supposed to be a finite number, but that finite number is approaching infinity, but it's still finite. But this was not finite. And remember, you can plug in infinity into anything. You can only say this goes to infinity, but you can say it is infinity because nobody knows infinity. So this is how you translate this. And then you go ahead, take this integral, then you take the limit. So what we do now is to take this integral, we we'll still say that this is equal to the limit as t goes to infinity of, if we integrate this, it's gonna be, in fact, we can take this two out, so we can write it this way, two times the integral from one to t of x to the negative e. By the way, this is still a number, it's an exponent, just like you have two, three, or four, but this one is 2.718, okay? So it doesn't matter what number is here, just keep it as e. There's no special integration technique you use. You apply the, um, the reverse power rule, okay? So here, I can move this to even behind the limit function, so I can say this is equal to two times the limit as t goes to infinity, of the integral, well, there's no more, let's do this integration. If we integrate x to the negative e, it's gonna be x to the negative e plus one over negative e plus one, okay? But we now have our boundaries, our boundaries are from one to t. Okay, so this is the same thing as two times the limit as t goes to infinity See, this is like a number, okay? Remember that negative e plus one is a number. It's the same thing as one minus e, or one minus 2.718, but we don't, because it's irrational, we're just gonna keep it in its normal form, so we're gonna write it as one over one minus e times x to the one minus e. We're gonna write it this way, okay? This makes it easier for you to see what we're doing. So I've rewritten this expression this way. I'm gonna pull this again to the back. It becomes two over one minus e. And then I'm gonna take the limit as t goes to infinity of this expression. Now, how do we write this expression? This is the same thing as saying x to the one times x to the negative e, which is the same thing as x to the first power divided by x to the e. So it's gonna be x over x to the e. I hope you can see that from one to t. So this is just algebraic simplification. And at this point, we can do our substitution. So this is the same thing as two over one minus e multiplied by the limit as t goes to um, infinity of, now let's plug in t. This is gonna be t over t to the e minus one over one to the e. Okay, so what does that give us? This tells us that it is two over one minus e. Where did I get two? Okay. Um, and what does that give us? It gives us the limit. Oh, we need to evaluate the limit. Okay, let's make it one, let's clean, let's clean it up one more time. The limit as t goes to infinity. Now, this is t 
over t to the e, and this is just minus 1. Okay, now let's take the limit. What will this limit be? Okay, this has a smaller exponent compared to this, therefore this will go to 0 because this is rising faster as t approaches infinity. Okay, if another way you can do that is to divide the top and bottom by t raised to power e, and you notice that you have 1 in the bottom, and on top you're going to have t raised to power negative e, and that will make everything go to 0. But we're not here to learn about limits, we're here about to learn. We're here to learn about improper integrals. Okay, so this goes to 0. This is 2 over 1 minus e multiplied by, if you take this limit, this is, sorry, this is supposed to be like this. If you take this limit, this gives you 0, and this gives you this. And what does this give you? It tells you that you're going to have 2 over 1 minus e multiplied by negative 1. And if you multiply this by negative 1, it's going to flip this sign, or you can leave it as negative 2 over 1 minus e, or 2 over e minus 1. This is 2 divided by e minus 1. And this is what this integral will give you in total when you go from 1 to infinity. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.